Chapter 1. Are they clear? With elbows resting on the hand-tooled leather surface of his mahogany desk in a room the size of most houses, the man listened through the crackling. American troops, inside, how do you know? He absorbed the answer and glanced at the colorful Chinese wood panels and his eclectic collection of antiques. If they weren't close, how would they know they were Americans? He was growing red. The Alidorians are still denying involvement. That will work. He tapped his fingers hard enough to imprint the leather desk pad. Get them out! For a moment, he contemplated the importance of his next call. There were American troops. I don't know where they came from. A few of our men were killed. We didn't change anything. Nonsense. Don't worry about the dead. We don't have to pay them. We achieved our purpose. We have their attention. The Eldorians deny involvement. The Narians are impotent. Everyone points fingers, and the Americans don't know which way to turn. We have them all where we want them. Now watch the stock market. We don't need the money. He wanted, no, insisted we do this from the inside. So we need the money. We still don't own enough candidates, and the elections are going to be expensive. We have to be ready. We don't want more of the same. We need the money. Unless, of course, you want to spend your own. There was no response. The man in the elegant office knew he could indeed spend his own. He had plenty. But why should he when a little manipulation added still more? Of course not, he finally said. But he'll be gone in a year and a half. Why be so blatant? Because uncertainty breeds fear. Fear wins elections, and even better, scared people don't want more of what made them afraid. Your grandfather taught you that many years ago. Then we move to the next performance. The president sat at his desk in the Oval Office, watching the cable news coverage from Naria. The Secretary of Defense and the Chairman of the Joint Chiefs sat on the couches. Reporters had been allowed into Naria early in the day and had been interviewing people throughout the capital. The reporters said the general response had been overwhelming happiness and relief that their government had come to its senses. One of the reporters had managed to catch a senior official who said only that the Narians expected an equal response from the West and the sanctions. We're not going to rush on that score, said the president. I've had no contact from the leader and there have been no feelers from any of his partners. He looked exhausted. His quick trip to Riverboro High School the previous night had not led to a good night's sleep. He'd had to work as soon as he returned to Washington. The portal had performed as hoped, but he had to keep it under wraps. The secretary said, Mr. President, I think you know that Mr. Russell and his people are not likely to disclose what happened, but can we trust the Israelis to be quiet? I had a long talk with the Prime Minister, Charlie. His biggest threat is gone. He rescued his people. You saw the reports. All wrong, but he gets the credit. I don't think he wants to make me angry, at least not for now, General Beach said. Colonel Mitchell is writing an after-action report, but he told me he has questions about what really happened. Misgivings, he said. He doesn't think the Eldorians were real soldiers. At least, not Eldorian soldiers. The president frowned. Get me a copy of the report, please, General. Yes, sir. You should know his report complimented Mr. Russell, Mr. Gilbert, and the rest. The colonel said he wouldn't hesitate to work with them again. I'm glad. They're good people. I like them a lot. I hope we don't need them again too soon. He remembered the first time Fritz walked in on him and told the assembled group the story of that first portal visit and his own adventure going back to New Jersey that afternoon. An image of Robert E. Lee ran through his head. I'll call him later. Fritz Russell packed his briefcase with a weekend's worth of work and headed for the parking lot. Ashley Gilbert was waiting for him. The president hasn't called. Given what happens when he does, I think you'd be delighted. Well, yeah, I do hope he'll give us the weekend off. I have a lot of grading to do. You want to come for dinner? Yeah, that would be great, really.